Hey guys, this is Susan Jenkins and welcome to Monet Cafe. This is more of a relaxed video here. I'm just taking a breather after lots going on with um, my mom and being away from home. And this is a photo I took when I was at my little farmhouse that I love. You know, a lot of you know my channel now. We've been through a lot in our lives over the past couple of years. And, uh, but I've grown to love the simpler things. And this is a little six inch by nine inch painting that I did today fairly quickly while staying in the basement of my mom and dad's home during my mom's cancer treatment. And I thought I'd share with you a video. I'm gonna speed it up a bit in places, but this is U Art Paper. And I'm using these um, Daler Rowney acrylic inks and I'm toning this a golden color, but I wanted to show you, you could use anything to tone it. You could use um, the pastel I just showed, uh, this happens to be a kind of a golden color, neo color wax pastel. I use these a lot. So I'm only showing these to show you that you don't have to use the acrylic inks. Just get a even a kind of a golden color pastel. And you can do the same thing I'm doing here. With pastel, you would just lightly um, put the pastel all over the whole thing and then wet it with either alcohol or water. But here I'm showing you how to use these acrylic inks. I am speeding this part up. I'm wetting the paper first, almost like you would do a wet watercolor underpainting, and it just makes the acrylic inks flow better. Now the reason I like the acrylic inks is because they don't take up any tooth of the paper and you preserve your um, layering techniques or ability. Now I'm just using a new pastel to get a quick sketch in. I'll pop the uh, the image up here of the um, actual reference photo in a minute. But I, I'm, I'm getting in a little trail there to kind of lead the eye through. But now what I'm doing is I'm using the Daler Rowney acrylic inks. This one's called Sepia. It's kind of a dark, um, I don't know, it's almost like a greenish brown color. I'm also going to be using the purple lake color of the acrylic ink. Now this is neat. I like this technique of using this to get your darkest values in first. Um, most of you know if you've been watching my channel enough, it's good to go ahead and get your dark values in when pastel painting. And these acrylic inks are a great way to do that. You don't even have to use the pastels yet. I'm using a little fan brush you just saw there. I could have used a bigger one, but I'm kind of limited in my supplies while I'm out of town staying with my mom and dad. So um, I got my darkest darks down there and you'll notice they gradually kind of lighten up the more that I spread them out. So I'm spreading the leaves or the edges of the tree, um, trying to get that a little lighter on the edges. Um, but this is all, you know, you can be kind of a little haphazard with this. You want to get the general shape of a tree, um, but you're just keeping it loose. And that's the beautiful thing again about an underpainting. But just look at that golden toned paper. Isn't that gorgeous? I just blotted this with a paper towel. It was a little bit wet. Um, and now I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of the dark on the little trail. This is li literally just a visual to draw your eye back into the painting to make a better composition. And uh, again, look how loose and crazy I am with that. Um, now I'm going to get that second tree that's a little further back. Notice how I'm getting it a little lighter in value. I don't have my acrylic ink so dark on my brush. Now I lightened it up a little bit more and I just kind of suggested those trees that are further back. You know that things get lighter in value as they increase in distance. Now I just I wet that a little bit and I'm using that purple lake to get the um, the land there. Also notice how I add a little bit to the trees and I also make it a little darker in the foreground there, the very edge of the, when you your eye enters the painting there. Everything's always a little darker up close. Now, I had already dried this with a blow dryer. I'm getting that foreground tree, the first tree, a little darker than the next tree. Again, things lighten in value as they increase in distance. Now, I'm also darkening that uh, trail, but I'm lightening it up as it gets in the background. Now, I, I darken these later, but I those background trees, I had a little light, too light there. Um, but now I'm just going ahead and getting in the sky colors, kind of having fun with this one. I'm purposely trying to keep some of that beautiful orange glow showing through. I'm gradually getting down where I'm adding um, some of the darker wispy clouds. I'm giving hints of where they are. And um, I'll try to do a video one day more where I talk about um, specifically more about doing sunsets and, uh, or sunrises and kind of how light and color behaves um, 
at that type of mood or that time of day. Um, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and play some music now, let you guys enjoy the rest of the process. But I, I hope you learned a little bit something about the underpainting there and uh, getting in your dark values and how values behave with distance and perspective. So hopefully you learned something. Please comment, like the video, um, subscribe, share the video. It all helps my channel um, just get to other people who like pastel paintings. YouTube has a way they kind of um, share your video more, the more activity it gets. So I appreciate that. And uh, if you haven't yet done so, um, feel free to join our group on Facebook called Monet Cafe Art Group. That is probably, I think probably on Facebook, one of the greatest resources now for pastel artists because you literally have artists of every level. I mean, we've got some of the greatest pastel artists as members in our group and they'll give you some feedback sometimes. I mean, you can get so much useful pastel information in our group. All right, I'm gonna be quiet now. Enjoy the painting. I certainly enjoyed this while I was away from home and, and I miss my little backyard and my sunset. So anyway, I love all my friends here in this group and I really wanna say a big shout out and thank you to my beautiful patrons. I truly don't know when I've felt so blessed than to have people from all over the world supporting me and, and helping me financially and just mostly just giving me love and support that just means so much to me. All right, guys, have a blessed evening. It's evening where I am and happy painting. <laughs>